Hey guys, welcome to Rhino Feed. Today I had a small little victory over Rhino Feed's logo. Now, when I went to the Apple Store to check out the new iPad, and I zoomed in on my website, this is what my logo looked like. Terrible blurry anti-aliasing going on here with uh, just the image trying to be generated by the computer when it's really not this size. At the normal actual pixel count, it looked fine, but when you're on the iPad and you're always zooming in on web pages, it looks like that. So anyway, I found a neat little file type called SVG, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. This is what it looks like. Nice, clean lines, and uh, blurriness is gone altogether. When I control zero to uh, set the actual pixel count of this document, that's what it looks like, but you can scale it just by zooming in. It looks amazing. And that's what it will look like on the iPad. So uh, you can learn more about scalable vector graphics just by going to rhino.im slash svg. And uh, this does support WebKit browsers, Gecko browsers, since 2005 and 2006. And IE9 supports this, although IE8 does not. But I'm going to show you how to do this. First, you're going to have to open up Illustrator, uh, which means you're going to have to have an Illustrator document for this, unfortunately. This doesn't work automatically just for all your photographs, like JPEGs. It does not work for that, unfortunately, but things like logos and icons work perfectly. So when you have this open up, you're going to have to change this as we are working with the web. You're going to have to change the document setup units to pixels. So you're just going to click this drop down list. Select pixels, then you're going to select edit artboards, and then you're going to set the desired width and height pixel count for when it's the actual size, not zoomed in. Then when you're done with that, you click uh, file, save for web and devices, and then on the right hand side at the top, you're going to click this drop down list and select SVG. And uh, you don't actually have to set any of these or mess with any of these other settings. Although if you want to be compatible with certain browsers, you may have to select a different uh, version of SVG. But uh, when you're done with that, you can just save it. And you're pretty much done. All you have to do is upload it to uh, your preferred, let's zoom out here, your preferred image hosting. Uh, I have my own image host at rhino.im slash g, which does support scalable vector graphics. So I can upload it right here and I get a direct link to the photo that I can use on my website or share with friends on Twitter if you know people are interested in that, if you have geek followers. But uh, apart from that, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this helped you out if you're a web designer. And I hope this, you know, I hope you found this cool if you're not a web developer. Thank you very much for watching. Designer, I mean, developer and designer are two completely separate things. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.